everyone! Today I'm going to show you how to make key ring tassels. I've got a few here to show you. I put little bells on mine. And I've got lots of different colours. So today we are going to make a pink one. You're going to need for this your cotton and some scissors. Nice and simple. So the first thing that you're going to need is um, a part for the bit which dangles here. So you can choose any colour that you like to. I'm going to go for a dark pink, so... I need to find the end. I'm going to pull it to about half a metre and give it a snip. And then I'm going to fold it in half just to make it a little bit stronger. You can see I've folded it in half and I'm going to do a knot in the top to hold it. Now we just need to make the bracelet, uh, make the tassel. So what we're going to do is you're going to put it over your hand and through those two fingers. So it looks like this. Okay. You're going to get your cotton that you're going to use and you're going to wrap it around. Okay. So it's really, really simple. You're going to wrap it around your hand just like I'm doing now. You need to keep on wrapping. And I'm going to use this whole part of the cotton because it makes it quite a nice size. But if you are using a larger reel of cotton, you won't need to use as much. Or you might want to do a thicker one. Or you might want to use less and do a thinner one. So you're going to keep wrapping around until you've got it the length, the thickness that you'd like it to be. Now, if you've got smaller hands than me, your tassel is going to be a little bit smaller. If you've got bigger hands than me, your tassel is going to be a bit bigger. If your hand is not the right size for the tassel size that you would like to make, you could use a piece of cardboard to help you. Okay, so I've got to the end and it's all wrapped around my hand. You now need to find the piece of string that we put around at the beginning. And you should see that goes through like this. Can you see? Now what you're going to do is you're going to put a knot really tight, okay? So you're going to do a knot. Once you've pulled the knot, you're going to pull it really tight. Okay, you can take off your hand now and make sure the knot is really, really tight. You're then going to do a second knot to keep it really secure. Just like this. Okay, the next thing you need to do is get your scissors. You need to be careful with this part and you're going to cut through here, okay? So you're going to put your scissors in, pull tight and chop. You now nearly have your tassel. The last thing you need to do is get a smaller piece of string. So I've just got one here, which was the leftover from earlier. And what you're going to do is you're going to tie it around the top. So you're going to tie it just around the top of the tassel, about two centimetres down from the very top. Let me show you. Can you see? About two centimetres down. You're going to tie that knot quite tight and tie it round twice. Like this. You're then going to chop off the extra bit of tassel from the bottom so all the tassels are the same length. Now lastly, what you're going to do is you're going to tie a knot at the top of this string, okay, to make it into a loop. Now you could put this onto your key ring, you could put it onto a door, you could do whatever you like to with this tassel. It could be a decoration in your house, it could be... You can make it into some jewellery. It's up to you how you would like to use this tassel. And then we're going to cut it off. I've got some little bells, but maybe you have some beads that you'd like to put at the top. Simply what you can do is thread it through and then thread it through again to secure it. Now it jingles. You might like to use your tassel as some decoration on your door handles in your house. If you would like to use your tassel as a keyring, 
simply thread through the key onto your keys pull this part like this and then pull the tassels through and then pull it really tight pull it really tight and then you've got a lovely key ring I've made a few different tassels with different colours and different strings at the top. I've put bells on mine, but you might not like to do that. Perhaps you'd like to put beads on or simply leave it as it is.